Hello, Diane Dewald, your Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. Uh, as I previously had said that I would give you a look at the contest goodies uh, that I'm going to be presenting starting on April 27th of this month. I'm doing, oh, it's this is all, the contest is being run over on my Facebook business page and it is surround it, it surrounds the in colors that Stampin' Up! is introducing with the new catalog release on May 3rd. So the way this is, is going to work and I'll have the, the information down below um, for uh, the contest and where you can go to my Facebook page to participate in uh, the contest and I'll have all the rules and then over on the Facebook page I'll have all of the Facebook rules uh, that I need to post. Now this is not being run on YouTube uh, but I will release videos each day uh, with the winning or the winner of that particular uh, day's contest but the actual contest is being run over on my f Facebook business page. So May 3rd, Stampin' Up! releases this brand new catalog. I can only show you the cover uh, until it is actually live and then I can go ahead and flip through it. So the first Thursday in May, I will do a quick flip through and show you some projects that I've been working on um, with some of the pre-order product that I got a hold of. So. April 27th. Let me get this out of the way. And April 27th. I think you can see that. Yep. Uh, the very first in color contest. Uh, it, I'll have a post automatically come up at 6 a.m. on April 27th in the morning. It will give you a clue as to the color of the day. And just in the comments for that particular uh, post, go ahead and guess your uh, choice for the color. You can choose multiple, let me rephrase that. You can guess multiple times, just make a comment for each guess. Don't do multiple guesses within a single comment uh, because then it'll only be uh, counted as one guess at that point uh, with the tool I use to go randomly pick um, the winter. So win, win, winter, it's almost winter outside. We're supposed to get rain today uh, here in central Ohio and possibly some snow. So let me kick off my shoes here so I don't fall over. I've got one of those squishy mats I stand on. So April 27th, first in color. This stamp set here. Let me get it in frame so that you can see it. It was earlier this year. This was a celebration. So if you were not able to acquire this set during celebration, um, this will be the first stamp set that I gift. And then in addition to the stamp set, you will get a full pack of the Simply Marvelous paper and I'm gonna leave that off to that side. And this is the actual paper. It is 48 sheets. It's six different designs uh, and it is printed front and back. One side is more of a marble and the other is like a, a silky flow. And you've got blues and then you've got grays and I think this is Coastal Cabana with some other colors mixed in. It's really beautiful paper. Online it's just not doing it justice. And then some purples, some yellows, and then your pinks. So April 27th you will get the stamp set plus a full pack of the Simply Marvelous. On the 28th that day you will still get you will also get a pack of the paper plus you will get this celebration I believe this was the fall uh, feels like home I have seen some gorgeous 
coloration uh, artists have, have stamped this and then colored it in. Uh, you can do some monochrome. Um, I think I did a congratulations for one of my nephews moving into a new apartment. And I did this and I did it all vintagey. I think I used crumb cake on that particular card. But feels like home. So this is April 28th goodies. Let's move along to the 29th. And you're probably noticing a theme, celebration. So during celebration, uh, when it is occurring, for every $50, you'll get a level one um, stamp set or papers, whatever they're, they've got for that particular promotion. Uh, sometimes there's um, $100, uh, the, the first stamp set that I showed you, it was $100 because it was a stamp set plus a full set of papers. And I don't have a, I don't only have, I don't have any full packs of that paper left. Otherwise I would do that with the paper, but I don't have any full packs of that paper left. I loved it so much. So this was, I think a year ago, January, February, uh, celebration. It's really cute. All these blueberries. I don't have any of the paper full packs of paper that went with this particular stamp set. This was one of the $100 ones. The paper was just really, really beautiful and cute. Let me see if I can get that glare out of the way. Okay, move that. Sorry. I'm trying to get glare, but I'm also trying to light it. So let's, let's, Let's do this. There, that's better. If I hold it up just a little bit, um, that'll get the glare out of the way. Well, this. Nope, not quite. Not quite tall enough. I've used too many of those post-it notes. So this is the 29th. On the 30th, you'll also get the Marvelous paper. Oh, on the 29th, you get this paper as well. Um, the stamp set is a celebration again. As you can see, I've got lots of these. This is a Heal Your Heart. And some of the print, there you go. And it's got some really nice sayings in here. Um, so you'll get this stamp set. Hold that up. So Heal Your Heart, the Marvelous Papers. That is day number four, April 30th. And where did that other one go? May 9th. Hang on. I got to pause you for just a second. I'm missing a stamp set. Okay. I don't know why I set it across the room, but day five, May 1st, this Island Vibes. This was again from this past uh, celebration. These are really fun. Uh, this stamp set is staying permanently in my rotation. Um, I love this pineapple and this leaf. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. I think, in fact, I might have done a video or posted some cards I made using this particular um, stamp set. So this is May 1st. So again, every day, come out 6 a.m. The um, post automatically is going to hit. Comment all day long. You have until... 6 a.m. the following morning and at 6.01 I will reveal the color and then at the end of all five days so on May 2nd the morning of May 2nd I'll go through and I will generate the winners for each daily and then on top of the dailies on May 2nd I will generate an overall winner so comment a lot because that gets you an entry every single comment will get you an entry into the final and the final will receive this stamp set special moments and i use this one 
all the time, even though it's a celebration and no longer quote unquote current, I use this all the time. It is one of my favorites right now. So you'll have this and let me see if I can prop that up. So that's uh, sliding a little. Also with that, um, you'll get a full pack of 48 sheets of this sunshine and rainbows paper. This uh, went along with uh, celebration and there are 12, I think that's 12 papers. So you'll get 12, what did I, hang on one second, I have it written down somewhere. Okay, found my post-it note. So it is 12 designs, front and back, 48 sheets, so you'll get four designs, four sheets of each of the sheets. So I'll quickly go through. It's really pretty, and this matches to, um, I think, one of the stamp sets uh, and then in, in our January to June mini catalog. And there's also a cloud punch that perfectly fits these clouds. Oops, sorry. As I'm turning it over, I'm setting it down so that you can't see it. But this is this is really fun paper. I love this on the back. Polka dots. I'm a sucker for polka dots. Big bold stripes. Little swirly cues. Polka dots. I've used, I think you can see that one. Use that one a lot. And then these stripes. I've used these in a card. So you'll get that pack of paper. And then I had two 12 by 12 packs of paper which I have cut down to 6 by 6 and the first one is a flower and field designer series paper and I'm going to quickly go through and show you because I think you get when I cut it up there were two sheets of 12 by 12 so you're going to get eight sheets of each design so there's one, and there's the back side. I love this back side. It's so beautiful. Then you've got this one. Directional, so make sure that's direction. Polka dots. I uh, sucker for those. Love, 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 love. This is pretty. And again, more polka dots. I collected a lot of this DSP. I believe this was also a celebration. And I have a ton, 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 ton of this. These leaves are really, really, really pretty. Nice floral, little flower, diagonal type of pattern. And this, I love this set too. And I think they had stripes on the back, so that's really pretty. I made a lot of cards with that. So that is the Field and Flower. So you'll get those and then this that was last year on a celebration uh, this year we had this daffodil come on daffodil afternoon and it's come on it's not doesn't want to there it goes there it goes and same thing it was this was originally in 12 by 12 and I cut it down so you'll get uh, eight sheets of each nice daffodils again those polka dots. Nice stripe pattern if you want to do uh, something um, just to add interest. And then you've got, whoops, that's the back side of this. I've seen some really pretty um, renditions of cards using this. I've seen people color in these white flowers. Um, that can be stunning. And this, this is beautiful. That can be just a card on all on its own. 
and then some pretty pretty stripes on the back nice background foliage if you needed to add some character and then little hearts on the back this is pretty i love this i think this is crushed curry is this color oops again and not polka dots but a nice uh, symmetrical pattern of little plus signs i've used that quite a bit and then this is really pretty i think directional it's that direction because all the flowers are pointing up the, the sun was up here um so yeah you do have to watch the direction of the paper and a nice geometric background or symmetrical uh, background there and last but not least now this is the grand prize for all five days so um you have dailies which i should before but we're still doing the grand prize here and this was a celebration i believe in the fall it is this absolutely stunning what do they call this bedazzling specialty paper six inch by six inch and this is just really gorgeous i saw people use this as a disco ball um, just to add a lot of character i saw some new year's um, uh, uh, cards with it and there are eight sheets of it in here so i will put this sheet back in and that is the grand prize oops oh maybe you want to see that bedazzling paper there so on may 2nd i will announce all the winners for all of the five days plus the overall winner so good luck with your guessing um, if you're placing an order in april Here's my host code up here at the top. You can find my Stampin' Up! store going over to creativecatcrafts.com and head on over. If you're spending more than $150, don't use uh, this host code. Uh, leave it blank. That way you get the benefit of the host rewards because you'll be your quote unquote own host. Uh, if you're spending less than $150, please do use that host code. Uh, everybody that orders with me and during the month, I put in an order for myself at the end of the month and I take uh, the, the host code benefits and purchase a bunch of little things. It could be gemstones, it could be some ribbon, um, and then whatever I purchase, I distribute amongst everybody that ordered from me during that month so thank you for spending a little bit of time with me today and i hope you have a, re a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you 6 a.m on april 27th with the first post of the contest over on facebook have a great rest of the day